guys welcome back to another episode of no man's sky so i wanted to find uh those other two creatures today and see if we can't find them one is located on the ground always active and the other one is basically a flying um creature which is common so we shouldn't have too hard of a time to find these two creatures and then we get like one one thousand seven hundred and fifty nanites from that which can go towards pretty much anything that we need so um it doesn't say exactly where to find them just that they're always active and that one's basically doesn't list a particular location of the world or anything like that either so uh, my best guess is it's just going to take a little bit of time to find these things and once we do that we'll be able to get like quite a bit of nanites from that so um we'll just kind of pop around different locations find landing pads like this and then we'll uh see if we can't travel a little bit uh on foot and maybe we'll get lucky with finding these creatures actually while we're here is there a yeah i don't know there might not be a um location okay so some entities are starting to spawn we'll go this way i'm not sure if they'll spawn over here i don't know we'll see if we can't find them today it might take a little while so one of them's going to be flying and the other one's going to be a ground creature which is uncommon so we'll have to keep our eye open for it we'll spend as much time out here as possible and it's a little bit more difficult with the um radiation but we'll make do Might need some, um, what do you call it, sodium, though, because it's pretty uh, toxic out here, actually. Just keep our eye open, though. Um, I can't remember if this is a peaceful system or not. We might need to be careful of how far away we go from our ship, too now that I think of it. Thank you. 
so we made it to a, the next planet in the system. I have discovered most of the creatures already, so uh, we just need to discover one more creature, ground uh, creature, specifically rare, so we'll see if we can't locate that. Um, pretty much everything else. There is a carnivore on this planet. Or I think it's carnivore. It was chasing after something. Um, leftovers. So it's pretty... I don't know if it will attack us, but just something to keep in mind at least. Uh, there's some sodium up here that we'll be able to get. We might be able to find the entity over here. Uh, we'll Hopefully we will, but notice that there was uh, quite a bit of uh, sodium up on this hill, so we'll go up here and give it a shot, try to grab some. Yeah, there's quite a bit up here. It's good, we're going to need sodium eventually. I think that's everything. Yeah, okay. Is there any creatures that we're missing over here? Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, we'll have to approach on that. There we go. Awesome. All right, now we got all seven creatures. Just want to check to see if there's anything that we've missed for scanning quickly. I think I've got most of the stuff around here. It's just um, minor stuff now. Okay, that looks like I've scanned. There might be some stuff in the caves. We'll check that out in just a minute or two. There's some caves around there, and I think there's another cave somewhere else. We'll go inside quickly to warm up, and then we'll check out the cave. Actually, while we're here, let's check the economy as well. 71. Isn't that the uh, trading route? Yeah, we'll be able to maybe make some more money today, too probably sell some of that stuff purchase that I guess now now that we're here right might as well So I'm at the station now. I did try to explore one extra planet, but um, it was just there was a couple underground creatures that I still needed to discover. One was common, the other one was rare, and I'm just like I remember from the last se series, rare underground creatures are just like really hard to find, and I'm just like nah. And there was also like it was a toxic planet, planet, and there was also. 
um, huge worms as well as, you know, horror worm things. And I'm just like, yeah, it's not, not going to be something that I'm easily going to be able to find. So I decided to go to the space terminal and, or space station instead and um, pick up some more trade items. And I thought we could do that quickly. So we'll buy as much as this as we can. And should have some extra stuff that we can sell as well. Now if we go to our thing here, we have some polyfiber from the last episode. Uh, we have that vortex cube, the acid, and the unstable gel. So we can sell those things. We'll keep the rest of the resources on us. Uh, the few things that we do have. And I think uh, we have some resources on our ship that we can put in our base as well. So we'll do that. But uh, we need to go to a uh, advanced materials um, station. So I'm going to put some of this on my ship and then we can go there just so we have some extra storage. And I think we'll work our way back to the base and we'll see if we can't work on that a little bit. We do have some tech modules that we'll be able to unlock some stuff with and uh, depending on what kind of style of building we want to go with. Um, I was going to go with wood but I'm almost wondering if I should go with stone. Um, I'm not sure just yet what kind of material I want to make my walls and stuff out of. We'll probably keep with wood for the floors though. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what our options are but um, let's go to a advanced materials station. We do have one of those unlocked already. I think it's... this is a scientific one. Yeah we do have a scientific one apparently. I discovered that last episode too but I forgot to mention it. Um, that's actually the station or the place that we need to go for a quest as well. So we got quite a bit of stuff done today as you can kind of see we got um, I was working on this a little bit off camera, but um, Basically I have like a little lower area where our portal and uh, our battery is located as well as our um, 
base computer, which I was able to fit in here. Um, also, our save thing, and I've moved up the foundation just by one block, just so it aligns nicely with the um, containers. And then as we expand with more containers and stuff like that, we'll probably expand that way. But um, then we can add in individual walls. And that's kind of what I've done on the my other save is I've basically just done that and it works perfectly fine with this particular um, uh, base object. So, um, but yeah, so that's basically it. We got some power set up. There's uh, solar panels on the top there. I've been refining that slime so we can get into uh, a few extra nanites from it. Why why waste it, right? I mean, we don't get much units from it, so we might as well turn it into some nanites. We also got a few extra ones that we can turn into nanites, but it'll take a couple processing cycles for that. And then we got um, some rusted metal, uh, which we can turn into ferrite as well. Actually, we cut quite a bit of it, don't we? I uh, should probably start working on that um, in my time off, <laughs> maybe. Um, just so we have, you know, a reasonable amount of ferrite and stuff. But we don't really need the ferrite for the walls or anything like that. We actually need silicone. Um, silicone powder, which we can get from basically mining terrain. So it's a pretty easy, accessible resource. I just flew way over there on the... Um, in the distance with our ship and then I was basically just mine a whole bunch of it out by flattening the terrain so as you can see this is basically what I got so far uh, eventually we'll expand towards our um, platform and we'll probably encase our containers as well when the time comes but um, also the extra layer for the thing gives it a little bit more room for doing that so we'll have it be able to hide the containers nicely too. Anyhow, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.